In this video, you will learn about Sellerboard, a software that allows you to take a closer look into your business and find out your real profitability. It connects directly with Amazon's API and it allows you to see in real time all of the fees that are charged, every single penny that comes out of your balance, and also every single penny that comes into your balance. The best part, you do not need to know any accounting. It does everything on its own. Before we get there, if you like the content we create, please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Finally, if you would like to try Seller Boards, do not forget to check the link in the description because we have a special offer for you. Now let's jump straight into it. So here is Seller Board and it's very easy to sign up. You can click our link down below and you get a special offer. And once you are in, the system will prompt you to connect Seller Board to your Amazon seller's account and once you do that it will start pulling your information and it will build automatically your PL. today i am setting up seller board for some sellers that i know so now i will show you what the system looks like right after you connect your amazon seller's account with seller board it automatically fills in most of the information of the PL. So the first view I want to show you, this is a dashboard where you can control all of your information and see all of your data. I want to show you the tiles view and this is my favorite view. You can decide what are the periods that you want to use to analyze your business. So in this case, we can see here how we're doing this week versus last week, two weeks ago and three weeks ago, but we have several views to choose from. So for example, this month versus last month, two months ago, or we can also do a custom view. We have the overview here three months ago, December was very, very good for this business in comparison with the months that are coming now. And we can also see on the product level, let's say three months ago, how many units we sold of each of the products and what are, you know, sales, how much was spent on ads, how many of the returns were sellable, how much was the profit, how much is the mar was the margin and how much was the return on investment on this product. There are other views. If you prefer, you can also look at your business in a chart way so you can see how your net profit is evolving versus your advertising costs and your refunds. You have all of the different PL elements here, and this is imported straight from Amazon, so there's nothing that is missing. And if you don't like charts or if you want to just go straight to the numbers, then you can also look just at the PL. PL view offers you detail on your business for each month. So for example, December, we had these sales, how many of which were organic. This is not true. Actually, I didn't yet set up the PPC token for this account. That's why it's not counting yet here, the PPC sales, how many units were sold, how many of those were refunded, how much Amazon deduced from our balance uh, from refunds. Amazon fees, so how much were referral fees for this month, how much how much were FBA fees, and so on and so forth. You can see there was some warehouse damage here, 334 euros. And here last month, we got some missing inventory from inbound, and this business was able to get almost 3K back. So if you were doing your accounting sheet, your PL on your own, on your Google Sheets, on, on your Excel, it could happen that you missed this event if you are not paying very close attention to the ins and outs of your balance on Amazon. But Sellerboard doesn't miss anything. Now, as you continue going down on our PL, you will see that we have cost of goods and finally VAT charges, gross profit, net profit, real ACOS, percentage of refunds, margin and ROI. And if you want, you can also see here the detail on your products. One thing that we need to set up besides the API for advertising, which is two clicks, is the cost of goods. So in order for your PL to be calculated correctly, we need to tell seller board how much our goods actually cost. I set it up only for one product so far, so the data we are looking at is not completely correct. I want to finish setting it up for one more product and I will show you how right now. So in order to set up your cost of goods, you go to the products tab. In this case, I want to set up my cost for my third product. Let's say you can see I only set it up for the first one. The other ones still don't have it. That's why the numbers look a little bit strange. Let's set it up for the third product. This is an FBA product. And if you want, you can use the constants 
way of the cost type and then I can just say that this product cost me 15 euros and that's it however usually costs and cogs are a little bit more complex than that right we know that with each batch perhaps your fright costs something different than last time maybe you negotiated better prices or your raw materials cost increased therefore with each batch or with each month or in each marketplace it can cost you something different to sell the same product so seller board offers you the opportunity to decide and to be that granular so let's go into that option and let's set up our cost like that so in this case i am setting up the cost for amazon de and if it is a matter of batch let's say the batch of products that i'm selling during march um, cost something specific then I can decide that the inbound date for the cost that I'm putting in now is 1st of March and then the last day in which these costs are valid then is 31st of March but you can also have a different logic and you can update it as you go so let's say that my product costs for this product are all of the components because this product has different components costs me 17 euros 59 and then this product is made in Germany, so there is no fright. There's only handling in Germany. And the handling costs me €1.69. Finally, after that, we only need to send from the warehouse where the handling is done and the assembly is done to Amazon. And this time, this cost me €0.35 cents per unit. And this is it I have here. My total COGS per unit is 1963. Now, let's say that your business works a little bit differently, like my own FBA business does. And I don't know, and I want to know actually, how much it costs me per unit. So I rather know that I paid 2,000 euros and I got 1,000 units. You can also input the information like this, and it will calculate your amounts per unit automatically so no matter how you have the information on your business you can put it one way or the other and seller board will calculate it that's why it is very important that you use this column here uh, to say how many units you're talking about when you input these numbers now it tells me that the dashboard is updating the whole pnl is updating based on the information that i just input so it is that easy. I just input these three numbers and now my whole PL for this product already makes sense. I will finish doing for the other ones. And this is it. Seller board is basically ready to be used and ready for me to apply all of the optimizations that I need to apply now that I have the real numbers of my profitability. Seller board is building your PL, so of course you can also input other sorts of expenses, external expenses that you have. So here in this case, I can put, for example, one-time expenses. Let's say I rented a car to do something related with my business. I can input here and it will show up in the correct month. If I have a monthly, for example, a software cost with seller board, I can also put it here and it will be added in each month or any type of other expenses, for example, with an external account and something that you know that will come up and will definitely come out of your margin or come out as OPEX in the end of your PL. Sellerboard also has other features such as inventory management. For example, you can see some data on the inventory that you currently have stocked on Amazon. So the potential profit that you stand to make with the current stock, potential sales and the cost of goods of this, these goods. And it also tells you your current sales velocity per day, how many days of stock you have left on Amazon based on this sales velocity and in how many days you need to place the next order in order not to run out of stock. It also helps you get money back in case Amazon loses your inventory or damages something. So you can also find that feature here. And there's some other features. But definitely for me as a seller, the most important thing that I honestly believe that every single business should have is access to the real-time profit and losses because that can help you make really good optimization decisions for your business and not leave any money on the table. If you want, I can film another video showing you the ins and outs of the PPC output, meaning once you have the PPC token connected, what it actually gives you, the information that it gives you about PPC, so that you can 
better optimize your PPC and understand how PPC affects the margin for each of your products. Besides that, Seller Board also connects with your Shopify store and other channels. So I can also do a deep dive video on that. Just let us know down below and I will film it right after this one. That's it for today. Remember, we have a special Seller Board offer for you. You will find it in the link in the description. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to learn more about Seller Board, then we have a whole playlist full of Seller Board videos. You can find it here.